Hey, everyone, welcome back. Yule Festival 2014. I'm going to use this to level up um, my, my bee awning here. And um, can do some quests. Now, one of the first quests I'm actually going to do, or try and do, is whether I help the rich or the poor. Well, I'm sure lots of you have played this. If you haven't, then you can kind of follow as we go. I'm probably going to do about three or four quests per episode and hopefully cover every single quest and talk about everything there is to do in the Yule Festival 2014, which is my favourite festival, mainly because you have hobbits in clothes like this. Look at that. She looks great. Maria Sandy Downs, gift giver. But well, let's get on with it. Let's go. I'll not be ignored. So I have to go and the eating contest announcer. She's here. Greetings, friend. And then I have to go and speak with the mayor. Excellent. Here. How can I be of service? I'm going to take a look at all the events. Come back. Okay, so this is really. I forgot I must have done this last year on my hunter. Hello oh. there. I have to speak to continue my tour. Over here. So we just go around to all the quests. To go down to the snowball field. Hello there. Yeah. So you might have seen already the Steed of the Winter Winds. If you haven't, then quickly go and watch that. It's only a couple of minutes long. And that's a new 2014 steed that uh, my hunter has already got. Here's the Globe Theatre, <laughs> which, you know, I don't have to remind you, is Shakespeare. And uh, the corner. Maybe it's the other corner she means. There, yeah. Greetings. I'll speak with a man near Gareth Rust. He seems to have something to say. Greetings. Turn to Mayor to finish a tour. So I've done that. Whoops. And there we are. Hello there. Thank you. And that's why I'm using it to level. Speak with you a moment. Talk to Virgil Greenfield. I've forgotten who he is, Virgil Greenfield. That's Basil Wyndham. Guard Kimber. Oh, I can quickly sack of presents. Finish there. And two more festival tokens. Excellent. Basil Greenfield. Virgil Greenfield. Ah. Of course, there's something called a quest tracker. So you can just follow that. There it is. Need more coffee, obviously. Greetings, friend. There. I'll do that quest later. I fancy doing the eating quest now and the clearing of the plates. Would you do something for me? Right here is a quest where you basically just have to eat things that are on the table and the um, quicker you eat them the quicker you, you can eat them up and get to the next station there are five stations in all you know the better but the thing is the things take longer to eat and um, some things can really slow you down there's also a mystery drink to be had um, which can also really kind of screw you up or completely wipe away any effects and so you can run around quickly again and that's pretty much the bottom line there god dear the more the merrier and there we are it's a deed get golden festival tokens which can be traded in and the Yule festival frame for the character so we just have to wait here 
One minute. And here we go. And usually I find it's eggs and mushrooms. See, they go fast. Maybe some berries. And the drink. Let's, let's see if we can try that. See what happens there. And you can see there's a countdown timer. Oh, that really slowed me down. Look at that. Greetings, friend. Oh, that was a big mistake. I might not make it now. I've got a minute to quickly get down to there. Here we go. Quickly. Four seconds. Mushrooms. I'm going to go for it again. A drink. Hey. Greetings, friend. Completely cured me. So that was worth the gamble. It's the second station. This is the third. And again, a minute. Just have to make sure you can. Can I be of service? Oof. There. And more food does sort of spawn after a while. In case you're wondering if there's lots of you around. But now it's going to force me to eat something heavy. Some of a pipe. There. What can I do for you? And you see four festival tokens, and now the last one. I'm going to put this so I can find what to eat there. Mushrooms. Take the mystery drink if I can get a lock on it. No, that made it worse. No, I didn't. It cured me actually. Excellent. So the mystery drink really is your gamble. Hello there. Excellent. That was the first quest done. There's one I like here where you pickpocket everybody. So this again, it's kind of got this sort of Victorian, all of a twisty type feel about it. Talk to Basil Wyndham here. And, and the first the empty keg emergency, sir. much of you. Pick up one of the empty kegs. We'll do that. Let's go and do that. And here you have guards patrolling. See the watcher here. Soon you'll see up here on the map. He's an eye, and he cannot see you. So there was one here as well. And let him run off. There's also a guy down the bottom. So in case you didn't know, the easiest way is just to run down here. And there we are. Easy money. Very easy money. Why are you bothering me? And I think we'll do his last one, which is tidying up. Stay and, hear me out. and it's just a simple case of going round to every table and picking up tin. And I'll shut up now because I think the music's great. So we can just listen to it.
pick up the last grimy dish in front of the hobbit who's passed out in a looks like a puddle of his own yeah I'll leave that to you and then we'll go back and talk to Basil Wyndham this is intolerable so yeah the reason um, we do this is obviously because the rewards that you get or can get Barter items, frosty beverages. If you uh, can, that actually opens up a D three hundred of those, and you can get an emote. And there's loads of lovely cosmetics that are exclusive to the winter festival that you can get. A certain gift gift box, although the supreme legendary one usually gives a lump of coal. So um, lots of. Decorations for your house and also different titles. And over here, greetings, friend. Can we have more cosmetics? Um, which is your robes and stuff for your war steed and all manner of th things. And these are the tomes. The Grimms, which you can receive as pets. So anyway, I'm going to go off now and hoover up all the quests and then probably go and alt to my main and then do them all again. So um hope you like this as the first sort of Yule Festival 2014 sort of playthrough and I'll do um, three or four more quests soon. And hopefully we'll be able to document every single quest that there is to do. Okay? So, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.